Well, I've been back from my walk for a little while, but my neighbors are cutting their lawns and doing their edge clipping and doing their leaf blowing with the, rather than sweep up and all that good stuff. So, but I did walk 1.7. I'm trying to get that mile in. I've, I've walked a couple extra houses and I probably walked, I didn't walk too many, but I mean, I got, I'm trying to get a mile a day for the next couple weeks, at least till my birthday. That's my goal. And I'm glad I have that goal because today my heart was just not into the walk. It just wasn't. But I did walk 1.7, 1.07, um, 1.7, that's almost two miles now, 1.07. Um, it took me about 29 minutes. So I'll get my 30 minutes of exercise in, which you're supposed to get 30 minutes in each day. So I have that going for me. Once again, my watch was different than my uh, uh, phone, my phone. So I don't know, the map, my, map my walk on my phone. So... Uh, I mean, I always go with what my map my walk says because I think it's a little bit more accurate. I think my watch probably picks up some extra steps before I actually turn it off. And I don't know. I don't really care. As long as I get my mile in, that's all that really matters. But it's not too warm. I mean, it's like 75, but it's very close and muggy. Uh, I think for the next week, Jim and I will be going to the gym to walk because... Um, it's supposed to be hot and humid for the next week or so. We're supposed to be up in the 90s again, which is summer. What do you expect? It's supposed to be summertime. So that's the way that's going to go. Um, I haven't talked to Brooke today to see how she's doing. I have to. I know she works. She's a teacher. Um, and they're, the teachers are back, but the kids in our district are not back. And I don't think they're back in her district either. I think they go back the day after Thanksgiving, the day after Labor Day. So she's working. So I, I'm assuming she's working today. Um, Jim and I did drive by last night just to drop her off her birthday brownies and her birthday cards <laughs> after everybody left. I felt so bad for her. And then we did have leftover potato salad, macaroni salad, and some chicken. So I said, well, if anything, you got dinner tomorrow. So we brought that to her last night. Um, Danny came out and got it, said she still wasn't feeling really well. And then um, my brother liked my potato salad. He came when... Um, uh, Dale and Lynn were here, and we had Sloppy Joe's and potato salad, and he said, I forgot how good your potato salad was. He said, next time you make it, can you save me some? So I said, yeah, so we put some aside for him. So he had that. I made sure that uh, Samantha had her gluten-free pasta salad. She was very appreciative, and then she took a couple extra pieces of chicken home for her lunch today. And Oh, we have no birthdays or anniversaries that anybody told me about, so that's why I'm not singing. But I'm trying to stay, have a calm mind, try to just take it as it is um i don't really consider myself on a diet anymore but i'm really watching what i'm eating um i'm not stressing over it i'm just striving to live a healthy lifestyle get my 30 minutes of exercise in i do find that when i'm walking it does kind of curb my appetite a little bit sometimes like last when i first started walking i kind of increased my eating I don't know why. I, I don't know if it's just because I thought I could do it because I was walking. But then I got to thinking, you know, you're walking and you're burning off all those calories. Why do you want to replace them with unnecessary calories? Although when you see my cartoon at the end, it's so appropriate of me. <laughs> I do like ending my videos with a little bit of a cartoon lately. I, I don't like to get all serious about weight. I know a lot of you watch me just for my weight loss and stuff. Um, and I'm sorry I disappoint you in that regard. <laughs> but uh, um, for now... No, I'm not, never say never. It's never to say that I won't ever get back to trying to lose weight consistently and purposefully. But um, for now, I'm really just kind of content, just uh, enjoying my life, um, trying to have a healthy lifestyle, getting my exercise in, enjoying my birds again. Um, when we were taking the covers off the furniture last night for the people, for everybody when they came over to sit on the patio, I usually keep everything covered just the chair that I sit in I kind of leave uncovered if I know it's not going to rain because what's the point there's nobody here but I take it all off oh my gosh that bird <laughs> it was like a public restroom <laughs> it was awful so Jim's going to power wash the deck probably tonight or maybe tomorrow I don't know but he should do it today because it's supposed to be nice and cool today although I just told you it was muggy but there's a little bit of a breeze but it's going to definitely be hot and sticky for the next week or so so we don't want that getting smelling and all that I haven't seen the hide nor hair of my doves. It's sad. I kind of missed them. It was kind of nice just seeing them having to keep an eye on me while I was reading. Um, 
And the more I read the book, the more I remember things about it, but I still don't remember the end, so that's good. So it's like, it's kind of like if you have um, short-term memory loss or something, you don't remember things. I don't want short-term memory loss, don't get me wrong. I do have a very good long-term memory, memory, and we all know that. I can remember things from way long ago, but, um, so... And then when Gary and Kylie came over yesterday, they said, you know, that my their old house, the one that they just sold, she says, they, they have it up for sale already. I go, no, they don't. She, he says, yeah, they do. I said, I said, no. And he says, yeah, there's a for sale sign on the front lawn. I says, I walk by your house every day. I didn't notice no for sale sign. And then Jim come out and he says, whose house is for sale? And Gary says, our old house. And he says, no, that's a sign. Somebody did some indoor painting and they were putting their sign up advertising their painting. And he says, oh, in a way he was kind of disappointed. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've never seen the people that bought the house. I've, anytime I've ever walked, no matter what time of day or night I walk, I've never seen anybody out. Just kind of, they're kind of like the elusive butterfly. But, um, trying to think what, oh, I forgot we, Jim and I could watch Bad Monkey. I was trying to think what we could watch tonight because... Well, he watched the football game last night, the Lions, and then he watched the Tiger game during the afternoon. I like football. I'm not too big fan of baseball. Yeah, to gear, now, Sophia, a list of Sophia, Christy, and Aaron are on their way to Ohio because uh, Aaron's in a baseball tournament, so they're going there for the weekend, a little family vacation. And uh, Jimmy's just working, 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 working. He, I'm going to get him on the tag next month. Where do you see how gray he is? Oh, my gosh. I was making fun of him yesterday. I felt bad that I was making fun of him. But I says, oh, my God, you're a gray old man. He says, yeah. He says, you need to dye that hair. He says, nope, not going to do it. Just going to look distinguished, which he does. He does kind of look distinguished. Of course, I'm kind of biased that way. You know, he is my son after all. But uh, so he barbecued the chicken. Like I said, we don't like Jim to barbecue because it comes out either raw or burnt. Or burnt and raw a lot of the times so i'll pick up my birthday menu and uh, divvying up what everybody's got to bring i don't know about my cake because i want to get my um we're going to do my birthday on labor day my birthday's on a saturday but we're going to do my birthday on labor day and um the bakery that i get my cake from is i would have to get it on saturday so it'd be like a two-day old cake so but, you know, I can't put it in the refrigerator. I'll probably put it in the freezer and then just thaw it out. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do. That way it'll still seem a little bit fresher. We'll see how that goes. But, uh, well, I got to go feed my birds because all of their feeders are empty. And then I'm going to make my lunch. I had some leftover salad and I have one piece of chicken that I'm going to put in it. I put some blackberries and strawberries in my salad too. Get some of my, veg my fruit in there. Like I said, you always know I'm going to have a hard-boiled egg, but I'm going to eat that separate. I don't like an egg on a salad, which is silly because I'm eating the egg and then I'm eating the salad. But it, it's how my warped mind works. I can't help it. And then um, for dinner, oh, no, and it, today's Friday. I'm going to save the chicken for tomorrow. I know I can eat meat on Friday. I just choose not to eat meat on Friday. Um, so what am I going to have on my... Well, I'll just put extra strawberries or something. I have some... Um, Croutons, maybe I'll put that on there. Maybe I'll put a couple croutons on. Or olives. I like putting olives in my salad. Oh, now I'm, now I'm getting hungry. But All right, that's going to do it for now. I'm going to go sit on the back deck. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos because I'm a couple days behind on that. So i got to catch up on that. And um, maybe finish my book today. Probably. I've only got about 150 pages to go. This is a long one. This is 500 pages. So, And the print is very small. Christy's not going to want this book because she doesn't like books where there's too much description. And there's a lot of description in this book. Like it describes every room they're in and how the furniture looks and the clothes they're wearing. Christy don't like all that stuff. So, okay, that's going to do it. How about we talk again tomorrow? See you then.